it's starting to feel like every time Unitree shows up, they bring a new level of chaos to the robotics world, and the last few days basically pushed that to a whole new level. So, the story starts with MindOn, a Chinese tech partner working closely with Unitree and what they've managed to do with the Unitree G1. This thing is already known as a pretty capable humanoid robot, but the way MindOn trained it for household tasks almost feels like we're watching the first real shift from cool demos to something that resembles actual in-home assistance. The G1 has 23 degrees of freedom, depth cameras, 3D LiDAR, hybrid force, position control, all the usual stuff you expect from a next-gen humanoid, sure, but MindOn pulled it into scenarios that used to be reserved only for humans. And once you see it move through each task, it kinda hits you how far this ecosystem has come in such a short span. You've got the robot walking up to a window and opening curtains on its own, checking plants and watering them, moving small packages around a home or office environment, pulling sheets off a bed, and doing these little cleaning routines that look weirdly natural, picking up clutter, sorting items, removing waste, and even interacting with kids in a very controlled way. And yeah, the company did not publish a technical paper yet about this specific deployment, so there's no deep dive into their full training pipeline, but visually, the whole demonstration fits perfectly within the hardware specs and control methods. Unitree has been highlighting for the G1 since launch. The interesting part here is that it's not a single repetitive action. It's this entire sequence of tasks, each with different contexts, different force requirements, different object types, different angles, and the robot just keeps switching between them. And you can tell they tuned that hybrid force position control well because you do not see jerky motions or hesitation even with delicate stuff like sheets or plants. It hints at a more adaptive training method, something that's clearly able to generalize across a whole environment rather than just one isolated skill. And honestly, even though it's early, it pushes the conversation toward a future where a humanoid assistant in the home is not just a sci-fi concept. It brings up the big questions too, like cost, reliability, safety around kids and elderly, battery life, maintenance, all the boring but important stuff that decides whether these things stay as demos or actually end up in a regular household. Now, right as this household demo started trending, another clip from Portugal showed the exact same robot, the Unitree G1, performing a dance routine in Lisbon, and that one went viral for completely different reasons. It's basically a public demonstration where the robot moves to music, does these choreographed transitions, keeps its balance, and reacts to the beat with a level of stability that's a lot more impressive when you realize how many micro-adjustments a bipedal robot has to make every second just to stay standing. And yeah, a dance demo might look silly at first, but for companies like Unitree, it's a brilliant way to show off the robot's balance, control, timing, body coordination, and mobility, all things that become extremely important when you start dealing with real tasks around humans, real objects, and real unpredictability. This Portugal moment also fits into a much bigger picture because Unitree showed up at the Web Summit in Lisbon, and their booth basically turned into the most crowded spot on the floor. People stacked two or three rows deep, just trying to get close to the G1. It greeted visitors, shook hands, bowed, did these little punches in the air, and then transitioned straight into another dance sequence under the stage lighting. The reaction from the crowd said everything. People were grabbing photos, laughing, trying to interact with it, and some even pre-ordered units on the spot. You could see startup founders, AI company executives, engineers, and just regular attendees all having the same, okay, this is real now moment. A startup founder from Spain named Rodriguez said it straight. He had only ever seen Chinese robots online and never in person, and watching one this close genuinely shocked him. Another attendee, Eliano Marquez, who runs a local AI startup, hugged the robot mid-dance, loved the whole thing, and immediately ordered two of them. And these were not random gimmick purchases. He said straight up that the future of robotics is in China and that he wants long-term cooperation with Unitree. Their regional manager, Wang Zhe, confirmed that their Portuguese distributor received a wave of inquiries during the event and has already sold dozens of robots locally. And he said more are definitely coming. The Web Summit this year had a China summit inside it for the first time. Companies like Huawei, Alibaba, Tencent, and Unitree all appeared together, which is a pretty strong signal about how seriously Chinese tech is pushing into Europe right now. Huawei brought its AI and cloud computing stack, Tencent brought a 3D printing design platform, and Alibaba used the event to highlight its global cloud, AI, big data, and enterprise service offerings. 
A lot of European visitors said they were surprised by how refined and mature these Chinese products actually were, and Portuguese officials kept mentioning that China's industrial scale, combined with Portugal's regional innovation clusters, could create a really powerful collaboration pipeline, especially in energy transition, digital technology, smart manufacturing, health tech, and mobility. So the G1's dance was not just a random viral moment, it was part of a much bigger strategy. And here's where the story shifts into the second major Unitree announcement, because while all this G1 household and dance hype was happening, the company also unveiled a completely different humanoid robot called the G1D. And this one breaks the usual pattern because it's not a traditional walking humanoid. It's a humanoid on wheels. And the whole point of the wheels is speed, precision, and industrial level throughput. The standard version of the G1D stays stationary, which sounds odd at first, but makes sense for controlled industrial setups. The flagship model is the one everyone's talking about because it moves on a wheeled base with a differential drive system, giving it a top speed of 1.5 meters per second, or about 5 feet per second. For a humanoid form factor doing repetitive tasks, that's actually fast. Its height ranges from 49.5 inches up to 66 inches, depending on the configuration, and the max weight lands around 80 kilograms, or 176 pounds. The standard model has 17 degrees of freedom, while the mobile version pushes that up to 19, not even counting the end effectors. And each arm has 7 degrees of freedom, with the ability to carry roughly 3 kilograms, around 6.6 .6 pounds. It's not designed for lifting heavy material but for precision and repeatability. The waist joint is much more impressive than people expected. It can move vertically along the Z-axis up to 155 degrees and rotate along the Y-axis from about minus 2.5 degrees all the way to 135 degrees. That gives it a vertical working range of up to 2 meters, or 6.6 .6 feet, which covers shelves, conveyors, inspection setups, and small warehouse tasks easily. They also packed the G1D with vision hardware that looks like a step up from earlier Unitree designs. You get a high-definition binocular camera right on the head for depth perception, and additional cameras on each wrist, which gives the robot a much better sense of grip alignment and object tracking. And because of that, it supports multiple end effector modules, two-finger grippers for basic stuff, three-finger manipulators for more delicate jobs with optional touch sensors, and even a five-finger dexterous hand when you need human-like manipulation. The flagship G1D also uses an NVIDIA Jetson Orin NX module capable of around 100 tops, 100 trillion operations per second, which is a lot of onboard compute for mobile manipulation. And even with that, the robot gets up to six hours of battery life, meaning it can run most of a work shift without constantly returning to a dock. This gives it a real edge in warehouses, retail spaces, industrial zones, and any environment where you need fast, repetitive, precise movements that still benefit from a humanoid arm layout. Unitree also introduced a full software platform with the G1D, and this is something people often miss. Hardware gets the attention, but the software here is basically the real product. The platform handles data collection, task management, annotation, simulation, distributed training, and model deployment. They built it to integrate with frameworks like Groot and PI, and once you train a model inside their system, you can export it straight to the robot with almost no friction. This is why they're calling the G1D a full-stack solution. It's not just a robot doing tasks, it's a robot generating the data to train better models, then deploying those models back onto itself, then refining them through real-world correction. That feedback loop has huge value for any company trying to accelerate its automation. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one.